Hi everyone, my name is Sydney and welcome to my first video. If you don't know me, I'm a junior at Arizona State University and if you do know me, you may or may not know that I'm going on the spring 2023 voyage of Semester at Sea. If you don't know what Semester at Sea is, it's a study abroad program where you take classes on a ship and travel the world for a whole entire semester, kind of similar to the sweet life on deck. I guess that's my best way of explaining it. Today is December 22nd and I leave on December 30th to fly to Dubai. To show you guys all the places that I'm going, I will insert a picture of my voyage. So here are all of the countries that I am going to. So like I said, I will get on the ship in Dubai. From Dubai, we go to India, Kenya, Jordan, Cyprus, Greece, Croatia, Spain, Morocco, Portugal, and then we disembark the ship in Germany. So hopefully throughout my whole entire voyage, I will vlog every single country and just basically my experience so I can send it to my friends and family so they know what I'm up to and also it would be really cool to have them for memories for the rest of my life. I'm pretty busy right now packing and getting ready for everything so today's video i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm packing for a semester at sea so starting with luggage i'm gonna show you guys those right now okay so for my checked bags i have two samsonite 32 inch rolling duffels and i got these little cute um luggage tags to put on them so i know that they're mine and then for my carry-on i have this osprey backpack i think it's the porter 46 for the ship i get the two checked bags the carry-on and a personal item but i'm flying emirates to dubai and they only let you have the carry-on not a personal item so this is like my personal item to like bring with me on the ship but i have to pack it inside of my carry-on in order to bring it and then I'm planning to pull it out there and fill it with stuff in Dubai. Okay, so to start things off, I have a blanket that I'm bringing and I had it vacuum sealed, or I guess not vacuum sealed, but like pushed the air out in this bag so I could bring it for my bed because I think there's only sheets. Okay, and then the only other thing that I shrunk down was my puffer jacket. So I got it nice and thin. These are the three jackets I'm bringing other than the puffer. So this is like a corduroy one, leather jacket and jean jacket. This one might not make it just because it's pretty heavy. So I'm not sure if it's going to fit. These are all of the sweaters I'm bringing. I kind of just have like an assortment of blacks, grays, creams. And then I have this kind of more sand colored one. And there's a mix of like turtlenecks versus like a v-neck or like a crew neck here's all of my sweatshirts so i have this blue zip up brandy i'm probably gonna wear it to the airport because it's really large this is a cropped aloe sweatshirt and then i have two lulu scubas and then i have my asu sweatshirt and a dc sweatshirt i also forgot about two sweatshirts this is like a little cropped zip up and then this is like the lulu defined jacket next is all the leggings i'm bringing these are black like flare pants they're kind of a waffle print from airy and then i have my four lulus and then i have a pair of gymshark leggings okay on to pants i have these three pairs of skinny jeans and then these are more like a looser fit and then these two are the zara marine straight i feel like those jeans are super popular right now and then i have a pair of little white cargo pants and then here we have like these are all flare pants and they're like super cute and then these are my leather pants and then i have black white and pink linen pants i'll wear those in like india kenya and jordan i also have a pair of black and purple nicer pants so that i can wear those for field classes but they're getting hemmed right now because they were too long for sweatpants i just have a pink and gray brandy ones and then these ones are from princess polly and then these black ones are from Lulu. Next, I have these little cover up or button up things. I have three t-shirts, just a Fire Island, a Delta Zeta, and this one's from Brandy. I'm not gonna unpack it, but my socks and my underwear are in here. I brought some like ankle socks, no-show socks, crew socks, fuzzy socks. Okay, so I have this pair of like more daytime flowy shorts. You can dress them up. 
And I have four pairs of like comfy sleep. I have a tennis skirt, two athletic shorts, two pairs of jean shorts, and then I have two little mini skirts. These are all of the nicer tops I'm bringing, just more like going out tops. Here I just have more comfy tops to wear on the ship. And I have four sports bras and then I have three workout tank tops. I have these four basic crop tees and then I have this one. It's a little bit longer. Here's four more tops that I forgot about. Right here I have four pairs of workout shorts. Here I have all of the long sleeves I'm bringing. So these ones up here have like little, what is it, mock turtleneck um, long sleeves and then these are more workout. These ones are body suits and then these are more like, well these are basic long sleeves. On to dresses. So these two are long maxi dresses. This is a matching set, a matching set. They're like skirts too. And then these are all of my little dresses that I'm bringing. And then this one's my alumni ball dress. I kind of tried to choose like a mix of like spring dresses that I could wear versus like maybe like a cute night for dinner. I kind of tried to mix it up. Then the last clothing that I forgot is just this long skirt and a blouse. On to school supplies, I just have this notebook. And then I have a journal to write in. Also have my cute colorful pens. This little like notepad that my friend Abby got for me. So I'm going to bring that to write in. And then this little bag just has my pens and pencils in it. So this is what a duffel looks like. You have like the top part to put stuff in. These pockets you can put shoes in. And then you open it. And this is how I'm packing the bottom of my duffels. I'm laying stuff into these like little cracks because the wires are here. So if you put stuff over it, you're not using that space. So I'm layering stuff in the cracks and then I'm going to lay clothes over it. So in this duffel, I have my calculator. I have some masks and a bag underneath it. I have Airhead Extremes. These are my favorite candy. Um, and then I have little packs of beef jerky. I feel like they're super easy to pack. And then also have all these bags of nuts. And a little tip is if you poke it with a needle, all the air will come out. So um, they pack easier. I have some gum, sticky notes. I thought they would be like fun to use for um, my door. Um, I have a random, or I guess random little bars. And then... This bag is just a little thing that I can use to put stuff in. I think I have sunglasses in it right now. And then in here, I have um, a pair of C-bands. I have a little rope because I can tie it in my room to make like a clothesline to be able to dry my clothes. And then here I have Q-tips. And then I have like extra razor heads. Yeah. I also have this little bag, but it has a um, beach towel in it, super small and compact to bring with me. I have this little cube to keep all my jewelry in. I'm not bringing that much, and a little tip, if you put them in little baggies, then the um, necklaces won't get all tangled and stuff. And I also brought extra ones in case um, I pick up stuff in port, then I can easily put those in there too. Okay, this is something I'm actually really excited about. They are like detergent sheets, so you put them, once it like hits water, it like falls apart and breaks apart and it becomes soap. So instead of bringing like a big container of soap, I can like detergent to wash my clothes, I'm just bringing these and they literally do nothing. It's so perfect. Next, I have this over the door organizer to put like bathroom toiletries in. I think I'm going to put this one on the bathroom door and then I know my roommates are bringing ones too so we can put those on our closet doors but this is just an easy way to save space in the room. Okay, now we're on to the bottom of the other duffel. So in here I have some Tums, cortisone cream, band-aids, and um, like stomach medication I think that is. Like, I don't know if your stomach isn't feeling well. Um, this has my like nail clippers tweezers um nail polish in there this one is just like an extra bag to use if i need it and then in here i brought little packs of press-on nails so i can do my nails on the ship if i want to and then here i have two different kinds of cough drops some gel advils nyquil tampons cotton rounds um contacts enough for the next four months and then I have a travel contact solution and a big one, toothpastes, 
I don't know why I have so many. And then I have like some mouthwash. And then here I just have scrunchies, hair ties, some cute hair clips, melatonin, little Advils, straightener. It's not the one I normally use. My parents had this one in Italy because it's like goes to the like European outlet. So I thought I would just take this one instead of my other one. And then here I have like nasal spray. Okay, these are the three little bags I'm bringing. So just like a nice black basic purse, a blue one just to spice it up with some color. And then I had got this little backpack because I kind of was trying to figure out what I could do to carry more stuff. And then this bag is also going to be packed inside of my um, personal bag inside of the carry-on. So I'll be able to pull this one out on the plane and it has all my plane stuff. So I just have a Colleen Hoover book to read. And then I have this little baggy Cheez-Its, because snacks, I guess, nuts, nuts. And then I have, like, a little tissue pack. And then in the front pocket, I just have some of, like, little old earbuds in case, like, my AirPods die. Next, I got this little travel mug for the ship, because I don't think you can bring the mugs out of the dining hall. So I'll be able to put some coffee in this in the morning and keep it with me. I'm bringing these two cosmetic bags. One has makeup in it, and then one will be more like lotion, face wash, shampoo, conditioner, that kind of thing. And then this is what I'm bringing with me on the plane. My in-port toiletries, I guess you could say. So like I have a mini face lotion, I have a mini cleanser, a mini body lotion, a mini um, makeup remover, toothpaste a little deodorant and then i just have like eye drops and these are like my like they're not full size but they're like mini and these are going to be for on the ship like they won't leave the ship so i wanted to mention that my checked bags can only be 50 pounds each for that reason i'm not packing my shampoo conditioner or body wash in my bags i'm going to get them in dubai and then pack them into my personal bag I got these little travel bottles so when I go in country, I can dump my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, whatever I want into this. And then just some miscellaneous stuff. I have like this clipboard. I know a lot of the classrooms don't have desks, so it's kind of nice to have something to write on. My little turby towel. I don't know if people know what these are, but I use this to put my hair up after I shower. Next, I got these from Amazon. The rooms don't have that many hangers, so I got little travel ones. And then this is what it looks like. Next, I have my Lululemon fanny pack. And I'm going to wear this on the airplane and probably a lot of days in port just because it's like strapped onto you and it can hold a lot of things. Then I'll show you guys what's inside. Now I have my sunglasses, some gum for the plane. I have my currency for other countries, a chapstick, my AirPods, my ID and my credit cards. And then I have my little passport book with my passport and it has my... Um, vaccine card my yellow fever vaccine card and then i have my global entry right here on to technology this is what i'm carrying all of that stuff in in this main bag i just have lots of cords and then i have like some sd cards in here i have one portable charger two portable chargers my old phone just in case in this pink bag i just have my apple watch and my camera lens covers and then i just have two little outlet cubies in this black bag i have a um universal adapter and then i have this cord that goes to this thing and this has lots of usbs on it so i can plug this one into this one have usbs here and then have usbs here next in this gray bag i have my gopro and my stick and my charging cord for it i got this hdmi cord to bring because i have a drive with a, a bunch of movies on it and so i'll be able to plug it into the tv in our room then i have some miscellaneous stuff so i just have some wipes my speaker this might not come just because it is so heavy and takes up a lot of weight i have like a little expandable water bottle next i have an umbrella and then some nausea medicine and then also um, seasickness patches. And then this is malaria medication. Okay, here's all the shoes I'm bringing. I know it kind of is a lot. I have just like these little cute Steve Madden sneakers, my Converse, my black boots for once it gets colder out, Air Forces, my gym sneakers. And then I have like my hat with my mittens and my slippers some cute heels flip-flops and these little sandals so in this folder i have the credit card authorization form that you have to bring for sas so your 
credit card can be connected to your shipboard account, but it can't be a credit card that you have with you. And then I have my passage ticket that I printed out. I printed out my visas. I think I did two copies of each one. And then I have the Dubai green sheet printed out, and I had some notes written on it. I have the spring calendar. And then I have like an itinerary of when we get to ports and what times we have to be back on the ship. Here's just a little ship map. And then I have the syllabuses for all of my classes in here. I think I had an extra one in case I switched to a different class, but all in here. Okay, so that is everything that I'm bringing on semester at sea. I probably missed a couple things. Basic things that like, you know you're already bringing, like my hairbrush. Hopefully this is a little sneak peek into what the next four months of my life are gonna look like. I also wanted to say that I am so grateful to have the opportunity to go on semester at sea. It really is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I just really want to thank my family and friends for helping me be able to do this today. If you would like to see more Semester at Sea content or what I'm doing for the whole entire semester, please like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video. This is the last buffalo chicken wrap that I'm going to eat.